How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Mullen, which was down almost 8% on the day. We saw the market sold off quite a bit. And of course, Mullen was impacted by this. We also have to understand as far as for the technicals. Yes, the pattern has broken, but we'll talk about it for in the video. I won't be wasting any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position. I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in a bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We wanna know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis from Mullen. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $1.05, being down 7.89%. On the low, it tested $1.03. And then on the high, testing $1.14. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 39.261 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 65.533 million shares. So we did have below average volume on the day and we also seen a slight pullback in the stock. Now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the RSI down below it is at 38.25 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are below the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day and as well as the 21 day EMA and it's clear to see that Mullen is in a bear market trading below all of our major moving averages. And taking a look at the price action, we ended up testing support at $1.03. This is a familiar area for Mullen. So the next level that we want to see hold up if it decides to pull back more is right at $1. And if it breaks to $1, like I said previously, we could see it testing in the mid 90s. And then we know there is going to be some support or there should be some support actually coming in around 73 cents prior. We saw it coming in around 75 cents. So this is where you're going to want to look forward to seeing a bounce if we end up breaking through that one dollar level now as far as for the high of the day we ended up seeing only one dollar and 14 cents so we need to get back above the 21 day ema which is right around one dollar and 30 cents so if we can get above 130 and gain some momentum that's where we need to see if we can get to the 50 day right here at one dollar and 89 cents i've been talking about this for quite some time but that momentum just not has been coming into the play and with the market selling off the way it has been that's why we have to just take what we get but as far as for the downside and what it's been looking like from our prior videos, it is definitely following into that pattern. So let's see if we can see a turnaround. But one thing that is clear though, we did break our trend in regards to forming higher lows. So for now, it looks like it's continuing to be on this downtrend, but we will keep an eye on it. Now let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information from Mullen. So the off exchange short volume ratio is at 34.46%. And then for the off exchange short volume, it is just over 12.09 million shares. Scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at 4.8 million, updated 18 minutes ago. And then for the short ball fee rate, it is at 3.54%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, we can see for the close of the 16th, it was at 27.36. And then for the close of the 17th, being at 34.46. So we did see it go up. And when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float, being at 16.78%, Mullen does have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution from Mullen. So we see on the inflow, it was at 10.15 million. And then on the outflow, it was at 11.36 million. So we had an outflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large, it was 2.79 million. On the medium, it was 5.79 million. And then on the small, it was 1.57 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 3.75 million. On the medium, it was 5.85 million. And then on the small, it was 1.76 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for May the 18th, which is today, we had that outflow of just over 957. 7,000. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, you could see that we had more selling than we had buying. 
And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large, it represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 13.87%. So this is not too bad for a volatile stock like Mullen. And with the volatility we've had inside of these markets, it's interesting to see that there's still many shareholders holding on to their position. This is a speculative play. So we'll talk about entries and so forth in the final thoughts. So let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for Mullen, when it comes to the price action, since we had a pullback and we saw a low at $1.03, you know what to look out for we want to see the next level hold right at one dollar if it ends up breaking through this level we could test around 95 cents and then below 95 cents you guys should remember we ended up seeing a low at 75 cents and then we had a bounce but remember i spoke about support also being at 73 so if we break through 75 we want to look for that bounce off of 73 if we don't get that bounce off of 73 then we can see mullen trading in the 50 cent range. So keep an eye on those levels. As far as for the upside now, of course we need to have some price action above $1.20. Most preferably, I want to see us get to at least $1.30. This is right where we have the 21 day EMA. If we could reclaim this level and we have some more buying pressure coming into the play, I want to see Mullen making that move to $1.89 where we have the 50 day moving average. I'm very consistent when it comes to targets. And as far as for my traders, at least you have a game plan to take advantage of price action to the upside or whether you want to take advantage of the downside. Also, we went on Fintel taking a look at the recent short interest information. Mullen does continue to have short squeeze potential and it's part of the reasons why you want to keep a very close eye on this play, especially when they end up releasing a catalyst. But you also have to understand if you are an investor, you want to make sure you're going in with solid entries. There's no reason why you should be buying this stock when it's over a dollar. It has shown this over and over time and time again. So be aware of those entries and as far as for my traders out there if you are going to be taking a position in regards to a swing trade of course you want to wait for the price to actually stabilize itself but if you're going to be jumping in anyway just make sure that you have a stop loss you have to make sure you put risk management first the first thing that you want to do before you enter a trade is figure out hey how much am i down to lose instead of thinking about you know what how much money could i make when you start changing up your mindset and having that particular strategy, you're a lot smarter about the plays that you take and as far as what your game plan is going to be. I want to make sure I really emphasize this because like I said, we saw a strong sell off in the market and there is a strong possibility it could continue. And the last thing that you want to do is getting in at a bad price. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how the stock performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.